New England cottontail is a declining species. Uh, it's, it's been declining throughout the Northeast. It's basically due to the fact that their habitat, which they, they love this shrubby old field uh, type habitat that's open but has a lot of cover, uh, that's been declining partly due to changes in land use um, from things like development, from fire suppression, and also just from conversion of land that had once been agricultural back to forest. The habitat was identified and uh, needed some repair, and um, we, we thought that that was a good place to start for us, to kind of uh, get our program up and running. Kelly Boland from the U.S. Fish and Wildlife uh, serendipitously took a, uh, a wrong turn up the Elliott Driveway, and she saw the uh, New England cottontail uh, signs and asked somebody here if they were working with uh, anybody to restore habitat and so that's kind of how it started and uh, it more from there because she asked if we were interested and, and we kind of jumped on the opportunity to go forward with it. Spectra Energy is right in the center of an area that is really important to this species. So um, I was driving by, I don't live far, and I saw a sign that said New England Cottontails and it piqued my interest. So. I gave him a call. Since Kelly was so interested in um, perhaps helping us restore our property into New England cottontail habitat, it just seemed to work out really well for both of our interests. The planning phase took about a year for us to coordinate all the activities um, and develop the overall plan. Uh, we had a restoration plan uh, which included uh, going out and doing field studies in the area. We did some initial wildlife surveys to get a baseline of what kind of wildlife is out here already, what's using the site, what portions of the site are being used more than others. The whole idea was we were going to have the volunteers dig their hole and then put the plant in, but the uh, surface was impossible to uh, get a shovel through, so that was a big problem. Um, luckily we were able to have Taylor come out and uh, drill those holes for us. I went around and cut some of the trees off to the side here and some of the trees out back here and um, we just created shelters and brush piles. Behind me there's a brush pile here and we actually feathered the edges of the property so that we could use those trees and limbs and things like that to make this cover from the New England Cottontail. Then Nikki, Sabrina and Kate came out and uh, marked out the locations that they wanted all the plants to be planted and we just came out and drilled um, about 575 holes. For the volunteer day we, we engaged a lot of Spectre employees, we also engaged some of our consultants and, and contractors who work on a lot of Spectre Energy projects. Uh, the day itself it was pouring rain uh, which, you thought, which you would think would maybe uh, discourage some people from volunteering but almost everybody showed up and still helped out. Didn't dampen anybody's spirits. I thought it went off pretty well. We were um, commended by um, the Environmental Department and the Fish and Wildlife for a project that didn't take five years to get done. It was pretty much put together within two years and, uh, and they were very happy with the results. The fact that Spectra Energy took this on as, as an initiative just tells me that they're willing to step up to the plate. It set the mark that Spectra is going to go the extra distance to um, help uh, the ecology. Uh, even if it didn't necessarily have a lot of benefit for us. It's what we do here at Spectra. We like to give back, we like to walk the walk and talk the talk. And uh, a project like this gave the awareness to the people in this area of who we are and what we're all about. We're not just here to, you know, as a profit company. We like to give back to the community.